Are you a homemaker in need of some homemaking motivation? In today's video, I'm inviting you into my home to do some homemaking with me. I have had my kids' room on my to-do list for a while now. I want to organize all their toys, declutter. I want to organize and declutter their closet as well. I think it'll be really helpful for y'all, so make sure you stick around till the end so that you can get all those homemaking skills and tips as well. If you're new here, my name is Trisha Rivera, and I'm the creator of the Rise Up Mom YouTube channel that you're watching right now. On this channel, I share homemaking with me videos, homemaker tips, skills, healthy recipes, and more to help you stay motivated as a homemaker and stay at home mom. I would love to have you guys subscribe and join the tribe right down below. Are you ready to get in today's video, mama? Let's go. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is tackle the kids' room and then I'm gonna do their closet. That way, as I pull stuff out of their closet, I'm not just making more of a mess inside of a mess, if that makes any sense. So let's go ahead and go through all of their toys and their books and see what we can get rid of. Okay, I got some essential oils going. I got some trash bags to separate stuff we're giving away and stuff we're throwing away. I am so ready to clear all of this and get it nice and neat and organized. For the toys, I'm just categorizing everything as much as I can. I have cars in one bin, and then I'll do instruments in another, baby toys in another, transformers in another. This is the after. I choose the half bins, that way they can actually see what's in there. It doesn't look the neatest, but at least they can see everything that's in there. Now for the books, I'm just taking all the books out and then I'm gonna get rid of anything that's damaged, not really readable if it has torn pages, and then I separate everything by size and then just put it back on the shelf. And this little girl is ready for her mama, aren't you? Okay. I just wanna encourage you guys, if you're decluttering and you're organizing a space and you start to feel overwhelmed, that is okay. Totally normal and don't give up, <laughs> okay? Don't give up, you guys, because the end result is gonna be so worth it. If you have a space that you're wanting to organize but you don't really have a lot of time, let's say you're like a stay-at-home mom like I am and you have the kids so it's hard to really get into anything, just take five minutes a day to make progress. That is still a step in the right direction and you're gonna get stuff done. And then maybe like tackle it when your husband gets home like a little bit more aggressively. I just also wanna encourage you guys, it will get worse before it gets better. It's feeling really cramped and I wanna open it up and make it really functional and just make it work really well in here. Like I said, I had done five minutes at a time here and there and this is like kind of a disaster zone. So the stuff I'm actually sitting on is clothes that I'm donating and giving away. So that's stuff that I had already set aside to give away. And then I have these drawers right here that I'm putting Legos in and magnet tiles and train tracks. And now I'm wiping down all of the furniture. No. Ow. I am labeling everything now. I found this tip to be super helpful when I did my pantry organization video. I'll leave that link down below for you and up above in the cards, but labeling everything helps me stay organized. My iPhone actually has a level on it, so I'm just using that to hang this photo now. Okay guys, I'm finally done with the closet and like a little bit of their room and the toys and everything. That took four days. I thought it was only going to take like a few hours, but yeah, I like way underestimated the amount of <laughs> clutter that I built up. It is so worth it. I'm so happy. The kids are so happy. Everly went in there and she's like pointing to everything and she just loves it and Jack loves it. So that just makes my mama heart so thankful that I took the time to do that for them. I hope that you guys get some like homemaking ideas and homemaking inspiration and motivation for your closet or room, whatever you have to declutter. You can do it mama. I just have like a nebulizer and a cool mist humidifier and my son's piggy bank way up there, which he loves to get into. Then I have some homeschool stuff and some arts and crafts stuff. I think I'm gonna end up switching this up down the road, but for now, this is totally good. And then I have games and puzzles. I have just some miscellaneous stuff for Everly that she loves to use. And then down here, I just put one of these really cheap plastic set of drawers. In this one, I have magnet tiles and some Legos and I labeled it. I just kind of wrote on it, I need to get a Cricut or purchase some Cricut labels for this stuff. But I just got a chalk marker and labeled it magnet tiles and Legos for the time being. Down here, I added in train stuff. So this is all, like all his train tracks and trains. Here, I added in costumes. So it's just some costumes that Jack has. 
I might rearrange things down the road, but like I said, for now, this works really well for us. On the door here, I put a wall pocket organizer and I just have a bunch of stuff in here. I have Everly swaddles rolled up. I have some changing pad covers and then I'm gonna put some shoes down here, extra supplies, thermometers and saline. I have a toothbrush here because in the mornings and at night, I'll hand Everly her toothbrush and just let her brush her teeth. And then up here, I have some arts and crafts supplies. I think I'm gonna get a cart to put everything in. But yeah, for now, I just have some stuff up here. Right here, we just have a changing table. In the tables, I have some diapers. Wipes usually go here. I have wipes coming right now. We're actually out of them. And then I have like a little book that she likes to look at when she's playing or not playing laying down getting changed it just helps keep her hands busy so she doesn't touch or she shouldn't this is her drawer mama went a little extra and i color coded everything just because i'm loving that look right now and i think everly does too she's constantly opening this drawer and looking and i also have these drawer dividers which i can link down below for you i've really enjoyed using these and they just help me keep things a little bit more organized and separated i probably need to get some more for here too i have some in my room and these are extras that i had but um yeah i have like her bathing suit pajama sets and then a bunch of onesies leggings shorts and then little what do you call those booties last drawer here i ended up using for jack's clothes so see here we took some shorts what i'll do is i'll just move it forward kind of have a capsule wardrobe so everything that he has goes with the shirt so it's okay to circulate everything so i'll usually just kind of cycle through everything and yeah, we have like underwear and then socks and bathing suit stuff, uh, jeans and shorts. Over here, I just have a basket with a bunch of like blankets and boppy pillows and just like extra things that we don't really need all the time, but it's there in case we have someone spend the night. We have, I kind of hid like some of the uglier stuff. <laughs> so I have some of Jack's baseball stuff, a boogie board, but yeah, that's that. And then up here, I have their sheets which I have these little clip-on labels that I got from Target, and I can also link these baskets below. I really like them. And I just folded up their sheets and put them in there. This is like a messy basket. I didn't really get into that and organizing all that, but it is all in a basket for the time being. It's a bunch of sentimental stuff between Jack and Everly. Diapers right there. So up here, I have all of Everly's clothes, and then down here, I have all of Jack's. Again, I color coordinated everything because I just think it's so cute the way that looks, and I just want to feel happy when we come in here. I want them to feel happy, and they just really like being in here now. So yeah, I have all of Everly's clothes up here and all of Jack's clothes down there, lower so he can get to the those and get himself dressed and then I have her little bows we have other bows around the house in the car like all over the place I need to take some time to get them all together but I just clipped on her little bows right here and I really like this system as I collect more bows I'm sure we'll need to figure out something else and then like any kind of headbands we just kind of have laying in a row right there we have more accessories down here for her some of the more like fall colors on the back but yeah, I got this from TJ Maxx. So I'll try to find something similar down below. Then here I just have like some extra hangers and extra labels. This basket is empty for the time being. And then I added this sign in here that just says you are capable of amazing things. This sign also made me think of you guys too because I feel like it kind of embodies what my channel is all about. Rise Up Moms really to me means that we are coming together as moms to rise up against things that have taken us down for far too long or at least for me, anxiety, depression, comparison like feeling like a failure I believe that this can be a community where moms can come together encourage one another feel inspired by one another and rise up against things that are holding us back from living the life that we want to live from also living in a home that we want to live in and you guys have spoken you have said this is a huge pain point for you this is a huge challenge for you and me too mama me too so we are in this together this is about us and this is about overcoming things things together and being in a community of moms that understand each other. So thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like this video if it was helpful for you and subscribe right down below. My family and I would love to have you guys join us in this Rise Up Mom small community that we have going on. Until next time, bye. A cat girl. So you worried about me? Get ready for mom. I've been waiting all my life for something. I've been down the darkest roads and